Okay, so we're veering off course from what I regularly do, which is just weird, but it makes sense sometimes, to talk about something that happened in my home state um, that I'm not at all surprised by in the slightest, because I'm from West Virginia, uh, Harrison County, Clarksburg to be specific. Um, and apparently, whatever the situation is, happened in uh, Kanawha County, which is really here, we, it's really weird to hear people not from my state, pronounce Kanawha as Kanawha. It's like me learning how to pronounce ca Canada and not, and it's not Kanada. You know what I mean? It's, it's one of those, right? And it's it's one of those things where it's like, um, my type of group of people, you know, we assume, a, we assume a lot. And a lot of the demographic of my people, we don't want to believe in the racer stuff. We don't want it. And then it, uh, sh sh stuff like this comes up and it's just like, oh, so this is actually a thing. This is actually, and we all just assume because we didn't grow up like our grandfathers and our much elder parents. Like my father is a silent generation. He was born like the 49, I think the year after World War II. So, like, he grew up in a generation that was still affected. Like, he was, like, still in school, or he just got out of school when, um, segregation finally ended. Um, his grandfather had to flee Alabama because of the lynchings down there, and that's how we got up here, you know. So, I only have a history of knowledge of what my family line has gone through. I was I still wasn't expecting to see it today. So it's just like, oh, okay. So this shit's just still here, but it's just weird. And it was weird. The circumstances around it. Um, and apparently it's this whole thing where this white couple from West Virginia, they're wealthy, supposedly, um, adopted five children who were black. And people are specifically saying, people are specifically saying, um, they use them as slaves. They use them as slaves. Like, like we can go to and like let's go to AP News. Let's see what this says. Look, look. You see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? That's a word. When we say that word or mention that word or mention what happened to the people who were referred to as that word, a lot of us are told to let it the fuck go. This is not one of those times. Not when the judge is saying it. So it's like, so... This is a thing. Uh, and it's terrible. Um, I'm not sure. This is AEP News. Important, independent, fact-based journalism. I don't know. I'm not familiar with them. I feel like I know who this people is, but I don't really care because I'm pretty sure everyone's going to say the same shit. Um, this is written by John Rabbi at... And it was updated at... 1503 um yesterday of this current year a couple arrested after some of their adopted children were found locked in a shed or a barn depends on the story written in their west virginia home are set for trial later this year on charges that a judge said involved their use as slaves quote unquote uh i like how they put that as quotes like why why are like is it because of what they is it because of their skin color that they're putting it in quotes and they, and I want to be careful because you're or is it because they're quoting the judge even though the judge is literally sitting there being like this is literally the case everyone's like well supposedly because we don't want to get lost is that it or are we just still not gonna give credit where credit's due that's that's all that's all we want to know that's all I want I'm just curious I'm just curious like there's so many questions I could ask in this scenario. Right? Like, there's so many. Because it's just like, I'm from West Virginia. I literally live here right now. I am not surprised by this at all. At all. I'm from here. I'm not surprised about this at all. I am surprised that someone who's never lived my life tries to tell me I'm an embarrassment to my ancestry stuff. That's always fun. Especially when they don't know who the fuck I am. So... That's interesting. But this right here, I'm just confused because, like, why did they keep putting slaves in, in, in quotes if that's actually what the fuck was happening? Is it because they're, they're, they're adopted kids and they call them mom and dad? No one seemed to mind. And, no, like, it, it, like well, I, and well, you know what? They never called Cinderella a slave. So I guess that's fair. 
Yeah, yeah, I, I guess that's fair. Like, Cinderella was never considered a slave. She just lived in the fucking basement and barely ate all the time and never wore clean clothes and shit. So, uh, yeah, say semantics, semantics. All right, I see what you're doing there, journalist. You have a good point. But, I'm st but those questions still fucking stand. Why? But, yeah. So, Donald Ray Lands. Oh, that name's familiar. And... Jean K. Whitefeather faced trial later this year after they were arraigned on 16 counts. That's it? Alright, that's just 16? The state of West Virginia could have thrown so much at him, but okay, whatever. Um, arraigned on 16 counts, each accusing them of civil rights violations, human trafficking, forced labor, gross child neglect, and falsifying an application seeking a public defender. I'm sorry, Falsified an application seeking a public defense. But normally they grant that. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Because they have money. That's why. That Okay. Now I understand. Now I understand. They have money, so they don't need a public defender. They could just hire their own lawyer. They wouldn't even be applicable for it because a lot of them are like, um based on whether you can even afford it or not on your income. So they just hire a public defender, especially if you can't afford one. Especially if you're just sitting in jail. Especially if you don't got a fucking wallet. Especially. Um, let's see. Mm. All but one of the counts are felonies. I would assume it's the falsifying application seeking a public defender. I really want to know about that because it's just like, why would you lie about that? Of all fucking things, you know? Lance and White Feather are white. Okay, the four children. Isn't there five? Okay, whatever. The four children whose initials are in whose initials are in the indictment are black. The indictment said that Lance and White Feather forced, threatened, and interfered with the free exercise and enjoyment of any right and privilege of the four children. But there's supposed to be five. Where's the fifth one? Did they lose a kid? Did not make it. Like, now I'm a little bit, like, confused and shit, right? Uh, the indictment said Lance and Whitefeather... Oh, I already read that, right? Kanawha County Assistant Prosecutor Madison Tuck said Wednesday that while she couldn't answer questions about specific details, I would like to say that because the indictment includes civil rights violation, that there is definitely a racial element to this case. Y you know, fuck... Uh, thank you. I, I shouldn't even be bitching, but thank you. <laughs> The couple's trial is set for September 9th. They remain in the South Central Regional Jail. So they're probably somewhere like Perny Town or something like that. Let's see. Circuit Judge Mary Claire Akers. Yeah, Mary Claire Akers. Expressed shock after a grand jury indicted the couple in May. Saying that a June 11th arraignment that... I don't think I've ever seen an indictment like this in all my time. According to the WCHS-TV, I don't know who, that that must be like, their radio, I don't know what the fuck that is, that must be their new station. Edgar said, the indictment alleged the children's use as basically slaves. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Attorneys began investigating after they received a call to the home of the last October, wait, I, I'm sorry, like, I've had coffee, but my dyslexia is like. Kind of fucking me up. Oh shit, I was supposed to get. Hold on, I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back now. Maybe I can focus a little better. Yeah. Let's see, Acre said, because we're certain there. God damn, it's hot today. Acre said the indictment alleged that the children's use as basically slaves. Authorities began investigating after received a call. Ignoring the fact that this has been multiple record, like people have reported this shit multiple times, and like the cops, the CPS, the board of education, kind of ignored it until a neighbor like finally like really stepped in, and they're probably this is probably the call they're talking about. So I just want everyone to be aware. Nobody gave a fuck until a particular demograph gave a fuck. Huh. <clears throat> now they've began investigating after they received a call to the home last October in Sissonville, near Charleston. So, that, so, yeah, they're that far south. Okay. From someone expressing concern about the children's welfare. Deputies 
force their way into the shed next to the home where a teenage boy and girl were locked inside. The children have been deprived of adequate food and hygiene care, or hygienic care, which, why wouldn't you just say hygiene? But, whatever. And the room had no running water or bathroom facilities, according to the criminal complaint. So I'm expressing concern. Wait, when did they actually go into the shed? It was the last October or just recently? I'm confused, but whatever. Inside the main residence, a nine-year-old girl was found alone crying in a loft about 15 feet, 4.6 meters high with no protection from falling. Mm. No adults were present at the home. A fourth child was with Lance when he eventually returned. Deputies were later led to the couple's six-year-old adopted black daughter who had been acquaintance with who had been with acquaintances from the couple's church. The couple were arrested and the children were placed under the care of Child Protective Services. Eight years ruled the bonds for each of the defendants was insufficient and ordered an increase from 200 stacks to 500 stacks. Because they had already been to court for some other bullshit before, but let's be clear. Lance attorney Ed Bowman said that June 11th, hearing that the charges were full of square pegs and very round holes. Yeah, because fat possums travel at night. Like, I, 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 yeah, fat possums travel at night, ma'am. That's what it is. I'm sorry, I met his slang. He, I met his saying with my saying. Which, like, which is a, is a Western you say it. it was actually used for a political thing. Um, fat possums travel at night, meaning that it means that uh, most people in the political sphere um, don't do much of their dirty work except when it's at night or in the dark, is what that means. Just so people are clear about like West Virginia talk. Let's see. White and Feather's brother, what the fuck you gotta do with anything? Okay. Uh, Mark Hughes of Chesapeake, Ohio. Why is he here? Stay where you... Okay. Testified during a bond hearing in October that the home in Sissonville was unfurnished because the family was in the process of moving to a larger home in Beckley. What does that gotta do? Wait. Okay. See, this is why the brother just needed to shut his fucking mouth and stay out of it. Because what the fuck did that have to do with anything? Like the kids in the shed. Or the nine-year-old up on like a 15-foot a loft that they can't get down from. Because I'm assuming that's why the kid was up there crying. It's because they couldn't get off the loft. Uh, most people need a ladder get to get off a loft. If you don't have a ladder, you're either jumping or you're jumping and hurting yourself. It's one of the two. Figure out what you want to do. But like if you're on a 15-foot loft... And you're nine years old. I don't think you're trying to jump unless you're Link from Legend of Zelda. So, what a wonderful uncle. <laughs> um, at the hearing, White Feather's attorney, Mark Plants, referred to the shed as a teenager clubhouse. Said that there was a key inside the shed that there was, and that there was just a plain and simple misunderstanding of what's going on here, except it was locked from the outside and there was no way of them getting out but sure 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 it's all just a misunderstanding these the, the black kids didn't understand that we were trying to help them that's all that's all but in the criminal complaint deputy hk bird burdette said he knocked on the shed's door on october 2nd and that the teenage girl inside indicated she was unable to open it see that's what i was just talking about after deputies forced their way in the girl said the defendants had bought food for her and her brother early that morning and that they had been inside the 12th for about 12 hours with no contact from the couple. The girl also said that she and her brother were not allowed inside the house and were locked in the shed for long periods of times daily. Mm. The children were in dirty clothes and smelled of body odor and the boy was barefoot and what had appeared to be sores on his feet because they never gave him shoes, says Bernadette. Or Burdette. Uh, in a court fine, the Kanawha County Assistant Prosecutor Chris Krinvaniak? Krinvaniak? I think that's his name, Krinvaniak. Uh, said the couple had sold 80 acres of ranch. Wait, what? In a court file in Kanawha County, uh, Assistant Prosecutor Chris Krinvaniak uh, said the couple had sold an 80 acre ranch for 7 and 25 stacks in Tanasket, Washington. Whitehead, Whitefeather's brother posted two 
$200,000 bonds that secured the defendant's initial jail release. Three days later, in March, the couple sold the Sissonville home for $295,000, Krivoniak said. Separately, a U.S. magistrate judge ruled that the Child Protective Services failed to adequately investigate what happened with the children <laughs> who were left to suffer and die. Oh, I'm sorry. I jumped ahead of myself. I'm that and I'm that. Who were left to suffer at the hands of their adoptive parents for months. The judge ordered Protective Services to provide information in the case as part of an ongoing class action lawsuit. Cute. God, I cannot talk today. Lawsuit that accuses the state of failing to protect the children and fix its overwhelming foster care system. And this has been a problem in West Virginia for a long time. Which is why I'm not surprised in the slightest. I am not even surprised at how this has gone. Oh, fuck NBC. Um, there is people. .com. Can we look at that? We can look at that. Mm, mm, mm. My, my, my. So this is them. That's actually a better picture of him. She looks exactly the way she's supposed to look. For anyone who doesn't know, this is what the average person in West Virginia actually looks like. This, like, you, like, unless you make them laugh, you, you're, you're not gonna know if they have teeth. Even though we all talk with our mouth way open, you're not gonna know if they have teeth. Or at least a sufficient amount until you get them to laugh. And laughing's a dangerous situation in West Virginia. Because you don't know if they're laughing with you or laughing for you. So this is Don. This is Jean. Or Jean. Jean. Kane. Jean Kane. No, her name is John K. And this is Donald. Both, I don't know what you is. Get the fuck off my shit, man. There's only there's only one pop up here, and you're just okay. Thank you. The the the, the keys locked in with black children property. Um, fortune and work in a case that authority has alleged was fueled by race, according to court documents by and by cited by multiple news outlets. Please say it's not just the internet. I'm cool with it, but please, Donald Ray Land, 63, Gene K is. 62 initially arrested. Okay, they were arrested in October 23 and now face new charges. Including human trafficking of a minor child, use of a minor child in forced labor and child neglect, creating substantial risk of serious bodily injury or death. Western New Metro News reported. Oh, okay, so we are talking about it. According to the outlet, the couple pled not guilty to the charges in Kanawha County on Tuesday, June... Oh, so they they had just pled guilty two days ago. Okay, that makes sense why this is becoming... Why? So that, if this is all happening in October, why are we just learning about this now? Country road, take me home to the place I belong. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. It's still, it's just like, why? Why? This is why sometimes we, we my demographic people, we really, really, really don't want to believe in the race or shit, right? And then we see shit like this where it's just like, oh. keep an eye on you. It's not we don't trust you. We just remember what happened the fucking last time. We just want to make sure and be prepared this time. You know what I mean? This is like one of those things where it's just like, oh my god. Even if it even if it isn't an active system, it's still so passive enough that it's just like, are you for real? Like this could have changed. Something could have been different at any moment. Anything could have happened. People could have been made aware. Nah! But it'll be alright. It'll be alright. Okay. Um... According to the outlet, the couple pled not guilty to the charges in Kanawha County on Tuesday, the 25th. People couldn't immediately identify the attorneys for the couple. That's probably for the better. 
It's probably for the better. The arrest of Lance and Whitefeather came after a neighbor called Child Protective Store Services. Again, uh, alleging that two teenagers were being locked in a shed at the couple's home in Sissesville. According to court documents obtained by the news people over there, because I, I can't talk today. Other neighbors also claimed the children were forced to perform farm labor and were not permitted inside the residence, per the document. According to the court filing, deputies who responded to a scene alleged they saw deplorable conditions and saying the two children were locked in the shed with a portable toilet and no running water, according to an indictment cited by the West Virginia Metro News. The children told investigators they were also forced to sleep on the floor and had been locked in there for about 12 hours per the indictment. While searching the home, deputies said they found the 9-year-old girl, the elder reported. Lance later arrived home with an 11-year-old boy. The investigation also led authorities to a 6-year-old girl who had been with people the couple knew from church, per the indictment cited by West Virginia Metro News. Uh, I don't care about that shit. According to the West Virginia Metro News, Conawa County Circuit Judge... Mary Claire Akers, signing the indictment from the prosecutors alleged that the couple also violated their five adopted children's human rights by forcing them to work, noting all the children were black. It's just like, it's kind of, it's really hard to ignore that, Miss White Feather, or Mrs. Human rights violations specifically to the fact that these children were targeted because of their race, and they were used basically as slaves from what the indictment alleges, she said per the outlet. The couple are currently free on bond, and their next quarter period is scheduled for September 9th, the news reports. That it? Not even common. Let's go to this, since it wants to point it out so much. West Virginia News. Actually, from my state, I recognize this one. Let's see. Yeah, you get... I, I don't care either way. You're, you're... Please disable your... Ad... No! I'm just reading... Yeah, accused of forced labor and abuse adoption. See, in West Virginia, it doesn't mention anything about the slave shit. Right? Right? You get it? You get it? Let's see what they said. In a deeply troubling case out of Charleston. Yeah, I'd like to read. Thank you. In Charleston, West Virginia, a wealthy couple, they mentioned. Donald and Jean have been accused of subjecting their adopted black children to forced labor and confinement. They face charges of human fabric trafficking, forced labor involving minors, and child neglect creating substantial risk of serious injury or death. All these charges, but not a fucking hate crime. Hmm. Ain't that interesting. They know it specifically because it's black kids. Like, like no one's even denying that. I'm just surprised that nothing with a hate crime came up, but this is West for fucking, by God, Virginia. I knew, I, like, this is West Virginia. I'm not surprised. This case came to light when authorities discovered the couple's five adopted children, 16, 14, 11, 9, and 6, living in deplorable conditions. Now listen to this. 16, 14, and, this, and the older two were the ones locked the fuck away. The ones who could have gotten away and done something with themselves, they locked them in the basement. Because, you know, you don't want your slaves running the fuck away to freedom. They might tell people how to do it. Or worse, they'll come back and try to free the other ones, right? No, you gotta keep them where they can't get the fuck away. Like, that that's... 16, 14, 11, 9, 6. The two elders were found locked in a filthy shed with no basic anemones while the other child was located in a loft within the main house. Reports indicated that the children were used as laborers on the couple's farmland and were prohibited from entering the main house. Oh, okay. I was about to... Uh, no, uh, there are more... News outlets have more information about this and uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. The couple arrest, our arrest occurred in October 2023 after a wellness check led to the discovery of dire situations. Initial charges have now been expanded, highlighting the severity and racial motivated nat okay, thank you. And racially motivated nature of their actions. Despite their claims that the that the shed was a teenage clubhouse and that the child children enjoyed staying there, evidence and witness accounts strongly contradict these assertions. Their property in Sissonville, where the shed was located, was sold shortly after the arrest.
Mm-hmm. And the prosecution allowed that? <laughs> like, they, like, shortly after the arrest, they sold it. And the prosecution didn't think that that was funky. What, you know what? Never mind. This is West Virginia. I don't know why I would think that they would think about that. Um, prosecutor argued that these sales, along, uh, uh, they, hold on, um, they sold it shortly after arrest, as well as another 80 acres of property in Tanas, Tanasket, Washington, wherever the fuck that is. Uh, prosecutors argued that these sales, along with their substantial bond payments, may be linked to their logic trafficking activities. See, that's what exactly what I was thinking in my head. Because this is like, why would you sell your property so quickly like that? Because it's like, what happened? Like, I, like, that was a red flag. It's just like, why are you distancing yourself from this place? Where you used to have your kids? Is it too much for you? Or is there something that you don't want associated with you in there? And if you get rid of it as quickly as possible, nobody can link it. Hmm. Neighbor reports and prior complaints to Child Protective Services further corroborate the allegations describing the children's forced labor and poor living conditions. Despite earlier investigations, no immediate action was taken until October's wellness check. I'm not surprised. The couple's next court hearing is scheduled for September 9th, where they will continue to face the grave accusations against them. This case highlights the critical need for vigilance and swift action in response to allegations of child abuse and trafficking. Yeah, we know. We know. We know. We know. We know. That it? Sure. Yeah, like... You see what I mean? You see what I mean when I say that, like, uh, like they're, they're not far from looking at how... Of course, Capita. Like, like most West Virginians really do not look that much different. We really don't. Okay, so let's go back. So there's a lot more information in, other, in news stories that's not from West Virginia than there are, because, like, they didn't even put in the slave comment the judge made. Everybody else's, though, but who knows? That's... Also propaganda. Also, I live in the red state, and we don't like being reminded of the bullshit we did. Okay, hi. Sorry about that. I had to run get my laundry. And then I'm out of dryer sheets, and that's just like, oh my god. But I did get my coffee. I did get other things done. I did have a take. You know what? I ain't gonna say that, because it's kind of rude at this point. Let's go look at Leon, because Leon was here at some point. Where is he? Because I was watching him earlier... But I didn't really pay attention because I fell asleep. Let's go to him because I don't remember anything he fucking said last night. So, there you go, Leon. This is Ruin Leon. He's a good man. <clears throat> he's a black man, but he's a good man. But will he ever be forgiven? Forgiven for what? I don't know. I just made that shit up. Are these rare moments where I'm sitting here and I see something and it raises my eyebrow and I think I could make a video about this and give my thoughts and opinions and while I'm reading and making sure I'm dotting my I's and crossing my T's one of you leaves a comment talking about the same thing that I'm about to do a video on and that's what this woman did and this is not to bully you don't think I'm out here bullying you I'm saying get out of my head and stop watching what I'm doing adoption has been a big topic on this channel for a little bit you have had the video I made a month ago in regards to people getting mad that a UFC fighter dared to adopt black children and try to raise them right as upstanding future citizens in the world. Then you got a couple of months ago, if not a year ago, when we had two gay men adopt children and they Why is with that title? Whoa. Google, which is the I really don't okay, what's with that title though? Like why are they I don't watch them enough to know. I've just been seeing it everywhere, and it's just like, oh my god, look at my home state representing, showing their ass, and just... <sighs> I mean, what you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Nothing. That's exactly what you're going to do. 
the bumpy grind on children. <laughs> and we all agreed that that one is weird, and the one about the UFC fighter is a little bit normal because, hey, adopting children and raising them right, perfectly fine. But there's another element to this. It's when people somehow get custody of children, and instead of loving and caring for them and making sure that they grow up to be mm -hmm. upstanding citizens to learn the values of respect, dignity, and strong core beliefs, they lock them in fucking barnyards and make them do slave work, apparently. A Sizzleville couple accused of allegedly locking children up in a barn and forcing them to do work mm -hmm. out back behind bars and on bond that's more than double what they already had been given okay. now set at 500 that's a lot. Donald Ray Lance and Janine K. Whitefeather, terrible names, appeared in <laughs> Kanawha County Court Tuesday huh? proving not guilty. What, what the fuck did you just say? Appeared in Kanawha County Court. Ray Lance and Janine K. Whitefeather terrible names appeared in Kanawha County Court Tuesday pleading K Whitefeather terrible names appeared in Kanawha County Court Tuesday pleading not guilty to over terrible names appeared in Kanawha County Court Tuesday Kanawha County Court Tuesday Kanawha County Court Tuesday pleading not guilty to over it's like they fucked up Wakanda and just it's like they it's like so it, it, it's like if I had talking dyslexia and I wanted to say Wakanda and I said Kawana instead. That's kind of what it sounds like to me. Kawana forever. <laughs> Over a dozen new charges against them, including human trafficking of a minor child, use of a minor child mm -hmm. in forced labor, and child neglect creating substantial risk of serious What we've already read before. Kind of a county circuit judge, Mary Clayne Akers, great name said she believed the couple's previous bond of two hundred thousand wasn't enough do you know how okay, much you have this. to piss off a judge to where they look at a two hundred thousand dollar bond and say mm -mm, give him a little bit more investigators believe they targeted these children specifically from a shelter because they were black forcing them to work as slaves being charged with a felony child neglect creating risk of injury the two children were being locked in a barn at this home on cheyenne lane they look exactly how they do they actually they weren't able to locate any guardians or parental figures or anybody around the, the man's name is john lester or josh lester mm. Uh -uh. The residence over the barn and I'll started to have a conversation with two children that were inside the barn. Deputies eventually forced their way into the barn where they said they found a 16 year old girl and 14 year old boy inside a 20 by 14 foot room. That's Investigators say the teens had no way to get out of the shed with mm. no running water, no bathroom. Jeez. The girl told deputies their parents had brought them food around six o'clock that morning, but said- What the fuck? West Virginia couple caught forcing their five and all the black children back into 1700s chattel slavery. Her and her brother weren't allowed in the house and were locked in the barn for long periods every day. Eyewitness News spoke to neighbors who were afraid to go on camera, but claimed multiple families called police about the children's safety several times. What are they exactly would they be scared of? Like, that bothers me. Like, what do you mean you're scared? Like, what happened to scare you? you know, I think it's weird to hear people say that, but then again, it's just like... Well, damn it, it's West Virginia, so, yeah. Actually, never mind. And they are thankful they are now safe. Well, I mean, it's a pretty bad case. I mean, it's, it's you know, in any type of situation like this, it's it not like really comparable, a horrific away. condition. Like, it's just not how you want or how you would even expect 
children to be raised or been taken care of. Along with human trafficking and neglect with serious risk of bodily injuries or death, I don't find the bond to be sufficient, she said. Lance Ooh. and Whitefeather were first arrested last October after a wellness check yeah. led to the discovery of two of the couple's five adopted children living in deplorable conditions locked in a shed on the Sissonville property in Sheehan Lane. Cheyenne Lane. I think that's how that not she had, it's uh, Cheyenne, like the cigar cigarette. Thing. Like the cigar cigarette smell, right? That's how everyone would pronounce it anyway. But it's like, um, the judge doesn't seem to like them too much. I'm the, like, you know, I don't know if anyone noticed, but I don't think the judge likes them too much. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm, 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 I, it's not like I know any better. I'm pretty ignorant, you know, like I'm a chump, I'm a loser, and you know, like I'm an embarrassment. To my ancestors. That's what I've been told. Which is an interesting thing. Like, it's always weird when people try to be like, oh, your ancestors would be shamed of you. And it's just like, you don't even know my grandma. You don't even know my mom or my aunts or my uncles or none of that shit. Why do you keep saying that? I, you weren't part of my ancestors. I have people... Who I'm attached to, that's my family. And they would definitely like me better than you. They would definitely like me better than you. Because I'm literally a part of them. I'm created from them. Why would they like you better than me? That's the weirdest shit. You're weird. You're weird. My mom likes it better than most people. Sometimes. Yeah, she would choose me over other people, but she would definitely try to embarrass me, though. But that's just how she is. But still, it's like, man. Um, yeah, the judge doesn't seem to like this. I don't blame her. This makes me feel all kind of ick. This is all sorts of ick. The fact that this was allowed to happen. The fact that the state, the Board of Education, Child Protective Services, neighbors even, didn't really step in to do anything about it is like, for a long time, too. It's just like, ah. I will be surprised if the state of West Virginia doesn't get sued. The indictment also alleges human rights violations, alleging the adopted children who were black were specifically targeted by the couple and forced to work because of their race. Akers said it's an indictment she's never seen before during her time as a judge. It alleges human trafficking, human rights violations, the use of forced labor, human rights violations specific to the fact that these children were targeted because of their race and they were used basically as slaves from what the indictment alleges. This comes after concerns from the Kanawha County Prosecutor Prosecutors that their original cash bonds were obtained through trafficking profits after the couple was able to acquire $400,000 in bond money for their release in jail in February. Kanawha County Assistant ah. Prosecuting Attorney Christopher... See, that's like the second time they've mentioned this whole trafficking profits, but I'm not entirely sure what they mean by that. Like they took them to different places to clean the fucking houses and shit. Did they have a shed in a at each house? Or did they just use the basement in the other one? Like, I'm a little bit confused about that part. Maybe I'm just ignorant as fuck. Probably what it is. Probably what it is. Last name I can't pronounce, but I'm gonna say it's a great name. Who? Krinvignac. Or, yeah, Krinvignac. Anyway, had called the money posted to secure the couple's release contraband directly or indirectly used. I, well, I don't know, but that's how I'm pronouncing it. I'm gonna be confident like a motherfucker, but I have no idea. Or intended for use to violate human trafficking laws. After their arrest last fall, mm -hmm. Lance and Whitefeather had indicated that they had no income or assets, bringing into question where they had acquired the money for the bond from. Last name I still can't pronounce stated that the couple sold an 80 acre ranch in Washington for yeah. $725,000 on February 2nd. Whitefeather's brother, Marcus Hughes, terrible name just by association, posted two $200,000 bonds to release the couple from the South Central Regional Jail three days later on March 28th. Last name I still can't pronounce noted that they had sold the Sissonville home where they were arrested for $295,000. Mm. Prosecutors said that even if their bond money came from a legitimate source, its intended use was human trafficking and forced labor. In a Oh, 
Okay, is human trafficking like is like the traffic jam related to like um specific like for like SA and stuff or is it for just like like I'm not entirely sure or is it just moving people around or cuz I feel like I just I don't understand what I'm hearing with the whole like trafficking thing. I, I, I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like no one's really saying more. But yeah, but I just feel like there's something missing here because I'm just like, well, okay, is it just moving them around or is there something more specific? Because I feel like trafficking is a really, um, it should, like, I must be off or something. I'm not sure. I feel like I'm just dumb. I should look that up, actually. Let's see. What is human trafficking? Human trafficking is a trade of humans for the purposes of forced labor, da 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 slavery or commercial you know what exploitation okay so it's like the slave trade why don't they just call it that that would have been i would have knew exactly what the fuck that was i would have known exactly what the fuck that was so they were just they were renting out the nigglets that's what they were doing like oh okay it would have been so much more easier if you and like why don't people just say slave trade? The algorithm probably wouldn't even pick up that, but I, I, don't, I, I like whatever. In a previous statement made to the court, Whitefeather alleged that the barn where the 14 and 16 year old were found locked in was a teenage clubhouse and that they were not locked inside, even though if based on what the investigators found, they couldn't get out because there was no lock on the inside. So basically, they were trapped in there. Oh. Members also reported that the children were forced to mm. perform farm labor and were not permitted inside the residence. Deputies said that they found two teenagers locked in the shed with only a small RV porta potty and no running water. The 16 year old girl told deputies that they had been locked in the building for approximately 12 hours and were last given food around 6 a.m. The children oh. also said that they were forced to sleep on the concrete floor of the shed without any mattresses or padding. Court documents stated that the 14 year old boy had open sores on his bare feet and that the children were dirty and smelled of bodily odor. I think as much as we all disagree on a lot of things, we could all come together and say it on the count of three. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. One word, four letters, jail. Because what the fuck are y'all doing? And how in the fuck do y'all think? <clears throat> Jail's too good for some people, but yeah, um, okay, I'll keep my suggestions to myself. At any point, no neighbor is gonna just look over the fence and say, "Hmm, I don't really like what's going on over here." Oh my god! What? What? what oh, that is where you're wrong. That is where you're wrong. That is exactly what people do in West Virginia. People in West Virginia, this is a rural state, right? Red state. It, it, like there is a lot of fucking space. Your neighbors are next to each other. Sometimes you gotta get a whole telescope or use your phone to zoom in to look over to see what your neighbor is doing. And you know what? A lot of motherfuckers fucking do that. West Virginia is a state where people are bored. They will literally be in your business because they have nothing better to do. People will literally try to pull fast ones and then think that you're doing well around here. Oh my God, the snootiness that comes out of them. Well, they have no right to talk about it. And it's just like, sometimes people just do crazy shit. And the people here are nuts. You, know, you think I'm nuts? No, it's a whole state where the nuts. Like I am, I'm my own kind of nuts. But never once did I ever assume that I, in my life, that I would see a man in a chicken suit dancing with like a Liberty City dude with one of those arrow things and a, and a black chicken batting two knots in a fur coat all dancing together to grooves in the heart on the sidewalk in front of like the fucking library or some shit. I will never forget that. And that was a, a weird experience that I was not expecting. It's just like... 
That's the most interesting thing that happened. And I, as I'm older, I realize that people experience way more weirder shit than I do. I was not prepared for this. In West Virginia, people are very, very connected, right? Everybody knows everybody. And about, and, and like, there's a good chance they could be related to everybody. I'm not kidding. I'm not trying to be mean, but, you know, it's not like we're fucking Texas. But there's a chance, especially if you go somewhere and if you look like me and you look out the window and the people are looking at you and you realize they're looking at you like they haven't seen one of you except on the fucking TV. You don't get out the fucking car. You don't get out the car. There are some places in West Virginia you don't fucking go. Okay? I mean, West Virginia, everyone's nosy. Everyone knows everything about everybody. So whatever's going on here, most likely someone knows it over here. You'd have to move, like, probably all the way from this place all the way over here just to get away from gossip. And then eventually someone's going to just move there by chance, and then you're going to be friends. And then they're going to talk shit about you or something like that. I don't know. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes not. Sometimes they just end up doing drugs together because that's a thing. Sometimes people move around in West, like a West Virginia in order to get away from drugs, and then it just end up back in drugs too, because you know everyone needs a community, whether it, it, it's like whatever or whatever, but whatever, you know. Anyway, let's keep going because I'm just talking. But I'm just saying in West Virginia things are like things are all fucked up here. People are nosy as fuck. No, people have nothing better to do but to like work their jobs and then retire. Um, have kids, raise them kids, retire, hang out with the boys, do parties with the girls, die. That's it. That That is it. You just, you're born, you live, whatever life you decide to live here, and then you die. There, there ain't nothing special in West Virginia. Everybody is born and talk shit. You know? So. kind of annoying actually because it's just like sometimes you just want to be left alone and then motherfuckers don't want to leave you alone but like I said um as a, a fucking tree right as, as a black woman I will say of that demograph there are some places I will never fucking go whether I've been there before or just heard it on off sound mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Clayton nope nope probably not Roto mm mm Raft is ain't bad. But I would never live there again. Ever. Uh, to certain places you do not go. Places where like you you don't know where the road is anymore. If you if you drive and you somehow you end up in an area where the road is dirt. But there's still grass growing in the center of it. You went not far enough, you gotta keep going because you're almost there. That's the best advice I can tell you about West Virginia. Don't Assume you're already there until you get there. It's gonna feel like you went too far, but you are. But you ain't there yet. You still got a ways to go. Keep going. What do they know about those? Kids? Are they locking them in a barn and not letting them out? Well, I don't think they've come out of that barn at all. Let me check. That's out. literally how West Virginia oh, is. Geez, what the fuck are y'all doing? You don't deserve to have kids. And listen. No matter if they were looking for kids based on their race or they had some backdoor deal to be the guardians of these children because mm -hmm. of some outside source that yeah. didn't work out. No matter the way they got those kids, keep them now far the fuck away from them and keep them way, way, way away from anything they got to do with a field. How many times have you heard stories of foster kids and adoptive parents or just parents who are terrible in general getting the kid back despite the fact they're warning signs they're going to take them fucking kids out? Maybe it won't happen in this case since it's like so it's getting a bit of infamy at this point, you know? I don't know if it'll be on that scale where it's just like the courts are not going to give the kids back because like that would be so ignorant. But I would not be surprised, especially in West Virginia. Or a barn because that's going to be some traumatizing shit that they got to deal with for the rest of their lives. And I would just like to make a personal message to Satan himself. I know we don't really see eye to eye, but could you do me one favor? Could you like come up and grab these two by the anus and then stretch their bodies out and then as you drag their bodies to hell make sure you okay you know what that's enough because that's too much i just wanted to hear his opinion because there was a lot of forgot but it was just like wow like i didn't remember that video in there but it was just like oh okay so they reported on the news but still it's like holy fuck 
What did the comment say? Oh my god, I need to put this one on. There. there we go. Why were these children given back to these monsters when they were found to be you, like fisticuffs with them <laughs> to begin with? Excuse me? Welcome to West for fucking Virginia, man. That's how it is. Like, this happens a lot. I don't want to say. As much as I hate social media, these stories need to be addressed. They are bad people everywhere, regardless of race. Did you did you not hear the part where it was specifically because of the color of the kids? Like, because I heard that. People are making it very clear. The judge made it clear. Okay. Whatever. I guess it, it's just evil and not, like, Malicious, but okay. We'll give it ten. How are they ever allowed to adopt? I thought a home inspection was required before any adoption was to occur. And who authorized five adoptions to one elderly couple? It's, it's, it, the opioid epidemic. Do you, do you, did you not forget about us again? We had a whole opioid epidemic. Everyone was on, like, in, in fucking pain pills, which we called beans, and then the government put in regulations to where it was harder for you to get those medications because people were selling them for money because they couldn't live off certain shit, and everyone was getting high off of it. Now, you would think that's bad. All everyone's getting high off of these, like, prescription medications. They're calling them food items, and, and it's weird. Um, which, mind you, um, pain medications are beans... Psychological and nerve medications were called benzos. That's a difference, right? So that way you know. But yeah, and they were freaking out about that, so they made the regulations a lot harder to get it. There was whole lawsuits, state western Union. I don't know if they want to sue against Big Pharma or whatever, because they were the ones who supposedly um, flooded um, all these prescription medications into West Virginia. And then when the chokehold came in, everyone started going on heroin, and which was terrible, because you know with the opal with with the pain with the pain medication the opioids um each pill is a measure you know there's tens fives twenties perk thirties booster bars if you know what that is right you know each a, a, a pill it is the same amount the same effect like the same shit it's the exact same thing you know, for the most part, generic and otherwise. Like, basically, they follow the same formula. Heroin? No. 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 It was a wild ride every time. The nastier the taste of the drainage, which is what people call it around here, it just... It, the more potent it was. Don't be surprised if you vomit. And it was just, uh, like, heroin came in and just uh, fucked everybody up. But everybody wanted to be on something at the time, too. Everyone was doing it for fun. But everyone didn't realize that, like, maybe we shouldn't be doing heroin. But at the same time, people got sick off, like, the beans as well around here. Uh, that's why I was produced so, like, no, 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 as it is. Because a lot of people here, um, their families were destroyed by the whole opioid pattern. Uh, pandemic I guess we'll call it because like we went through some shit people lost their sons or daughters or fathers or mothers families were completely destroyed kids lost their parents or at worst were abandoned and like the, the grandparents had to take care of it so for the most part West Virginians are a lot more careful about who's around them like, we're a lot more nosier than what we used to be. We all tended to stay more to ourselves anyway. And we just still do, but we just keep an eye on each other. But sometimes it's getting too much. So that's kind of why. But this is one of the scenarios where I'm surprised they actually gave a shit. So that's like, all right, man. I put children through something like that. Now, they deserve reparations. As an aging kid who got adopted by a black family was consistently bullied and abused. Okay. Oh, there should be workers in here. I thought he was going to say something smart. Mm. Let's see. My husband's old boss adopted a boy where this happened to this him. 
with his previous adopted family, except everyone involved was white, including the boy and the other adopted children. So awful. Every child deserves to have parents who love them. I can't believe the brother paid a 200 a stack a bond. They should be investigating that brother. If he has any kids, because obviously it proves what the couple's doing. I mean... Mm. Well, I lived in central PA, and there was clearly a schizophrenic woman across the street from me who had 15 adopted kids. Did she have a man? I'm confused there, but whatever. The government assistance bought them a four-bedroom home. She abused those children every single day. I called CPS at least 20 times. Never once was a kid taken away. More of more were brought to them, though. To who? To who? Who was brought to who? More of what was brought to who? This is an incomplete... I don't even know what the fuck this... Okay, whatever. White Feather, that's an awful indigenous last name. Yeah, Actually, it's a pretty common name. It's, it's, it's West Virginia, dude. Explain. Is it indigenous and so is she? Yeah. Bond should be maggot food. <clears throat> I know the adoption process really well, and the state is to blame for this. They shouldn't last too long in prison. I would hope so. As bad as these parents are, and they are 100% evil, don't let whatever government agency that ha that gave those children back after the first time they got caught doing this accountable as well. Well, where are they supposed to go? Who's going to take them kids? Hopefully somebody. Uh, reminds me of an unfortunate co-worker I had. A guy had several mental issues, and the people who adopted him pretty much ignored him. It was a the full Bible thumpers, and he never got mental help. He didn't have a phone or any outside contact. Shit, he was called a heretic by them unironically. He escaped, eventually got second adopted by some old lady who dotes on him. He put on a healthy amount of weight and got a computer. Asked me if Left for Dead is good as he plans to try it out. Man is living his life now. Natural fuck, how does this happen? So many layers of society fail those kids. You have no idea. You have no idea, man. They should be made to work. They should, they should be made to work how they made the kids work. They gave up their human rights when they violated someone else's. Plain and simple. However, long have they been doing it? That's their time. They don't need their last haul. Like, that's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> The fact that they specifically sought out five black children, specifically for the second time, makes it seem like they had some sick fantasy about being slave owners. Well, I... So look, right, I won't say West Virginia's a racist state, but there is a lot of subtle racist shit. What? What? <clears throat> A lot. It happens a lot. It's ridiculous. It doesn't seem like there's ever any peace. And then everyone wants to act stupid when you point the fuck out of them. And it's just like, are you fucking for real right now? Or are you just trying to get on my nerves on goddamn purpose? Because either way, you're going to be on my nerves on, on purpose, regardless. Like, you're doing it one way or another. What's bullshit is I'm not allowed to get on your nerves the way I want to, because then you'll get offended. And, it, and then it's just, mm. I guess because they don't, like, I. I just, ah. You know, I just want to say, I just, I just, I just want to say, right, because I think we're pretty much done, right? I just want to say that, um, well, I think it is absolutely the tragedy that happened in the first place, right? As they do. Um,. What's crazy to me Well, I'll just say this. I'll just say this, right? Oh god, he's hearing shit up. I'll just say this because this is like way simpler, right? There's shit like this that's crazy. 
And this is a bit excessive for the consideration of Western, because usually it's not like this nuts. Usually it's not um, such blatant disrespect. Usually the disrespect is quite subtle. Um, usually it's like something where like you have to question, is it worth calling it out? Meanwhile, you know this is a game where they just want to see if they can make you call it out and shit or whatever, right? Just some continuous bullshit. It's an agitation that a lot of times, well, a lot of us can't really avoid around these parts. You know, we love the move, it's just a lot of times it's difficult. You know, sometimes West Virginia just seems like it never wants to let you go. <clears throat> no matter what you try to do, it's just how it is. Yeah. This is the land of the dead, after all. I mean, if you can make it out. You get free and be alive, but until then, you're just here. It's just like, ugh. I'll get on my fucking nerves. You know, all of you, and I don't even want to talk to you, but, but, like, Lord forbid if you don't talk to them. And it's just like, why the fuck I gotta talk to you for? It? I don't even know your fucking name. Like, I swear to God, in West Virginia, you will know someone's life story before you find out their name. You have to know what they're going through first. And then they'll tell you, oh, yeah, my name. Uh, okay, oh, all right. Well, you don't even ask for mine. That's cool. That's cool. I'm not mad. No, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. You know, it's subtle things, right? I don't know. It's just, it, this is just one of those things where it's just, I look at, like, I heard this and I, and I was paying attention to it. It was just like, I'm not shocked by this at all. <clears throat> However, I'm still shocked by a whole scenario. When Montgomery Ball and me being so happy to see that black people were actually the hero for once. You know, despite the chair, because maybe the chair was a little excessive, but that's a symbol now, so whatever. Um, and then seven, someone tried to take that happiness from me. It was crazy. This is like, don't be mad because we finally got something awesome. Makes me feel better about being happy about that shit now. Because it's just like, yeah. Some bitches deserve to get hit with a chair. I wish their punishment would get um them hit with several metal chairs. And uh, no reason to stop. That's all. That's how I feel. So anyway. um, I'm going to go. I have a date to go to. Well, it's a vet's appointment for the cat. But it's the same thing. He's going to get like... What the fuck is it? Catnip. I'm getting him catnip afterwards. And maybe some... Well, he's got treats, but he doesn't have, like, the catnip from treats. And he likes those the best. But I'm getting him treats. After he goes to his vet appointment, because I need to get his, like, his shit checked. He needs to get his thyroid checked again. Because it's like... Uh, so, I'll be home soon. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.